नमस्ते मै नेम इज विष्णु फ्रम साई मेद कोटि ई एम टीचिंग कंट्रोल सिस्टम डिर् स्टूडेंट द टापिक आफ् कंट्रोल सिस्टम ईज टूडे वै जीटा वैल्यू ईज पॉइंट फॉर टू पॉइंट सेवन मेनी मेनी इंटरव्यू दिस् क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट मेनी टेक्स्ट बुक्स आलो दे हेव रिटर्न द बेस्ट वैल्यू आफ् डैंपिंग दट ईज जीटा ईज कॉल डैंपिंग रेसियो द बेस्ट वैल्यू आफ् डैंपिंग ईज प्राक्टिकली the test books also written is point 32.8 to but why zeta value is in between point 42.7 it is 0.42 0.7 why the damping value is point 42.7 so behind this there is a lot of story is there let me explain right now what is that see if you take first order system In a first order system, we have only one transient element that is either inductor or capacitor. Along with that, there is a resistor in the circuit. When inductor is present, definitely it will store energy and it will give some transient response. When resistor is connected to the circuit, it will dissipate the energy. But due to resistance, the circuit will come to steady state. Therefore, the response of first order system. is going to be like this already we have discussed in control system the response of first order system is going to be like this reason there is only one transient element there is no more than one transient element so the rise time for the first order system is defined between 10% of output to the 90% of output rise time is defined in between 10% of output to the 90% of output in case of first order system coming to second order system we have two transient elements that is l and c along with that resistor is there whenever we have two transient elements automatically the time response of the system is going to be like this already you may have studied all these things in case of control system in your btec but nobody explained that why zeta value is in between 0.4 to 0.7 in many interviews this question is commonly asking let me explain that one right now whenever transient elements are increasing in the circuit that is either inductor or capacitor here there is only one transient element here there are two transient elements when transient transient elements are increasing in the circuit the number of oscillations also increases like this whenever oscillations are increases definitely its transient response also increases which means steady state response is going to be decreases both are inversely proportional if there is only one transient element response will be like this if there are two transient element response will be like this that means if you observe clearly the waveforms or if you understand the combining results of both the waveforms whenever first order system this will be the response and second order system i am going to develop with the help help of yellow color this is second order system when order of the system further increased instead of two transient elements suppose if there are three transient elements the waveform is going to be like this once again it is going to be towards y axis but not towards x axis i can say when order of the system increasing that is mathematically speaking practically speaking when transient elements are increasing automatically the waveform is moving towards y axis whenever the waveform is moving towards y axis automatically its peak is increasing when its peak is increasing automatically its oscillations also increases when oscillations increases it settling time also increases whenever settling time increases definitely any practical system will take more time to settle but no person is interested to purchase that kind of practical system let us take a fan or air conditioner in the room that air conditioner ac or fan is taking more time if ekku time iskuntunnai ed output ivadaniki nobody is interested to purchase that kind of equipments therefore more settling time is disadvantage in the system more settling time is always dangerous but come to first order system settling time <coughs> rise time is very large in case of first order system 
rise time is very large like rise time is defined between is the time taken by the system to reach 100% of its final value if you see here the rise time for the second order system is going to be here only whereas the rise time for first order system is here i can say when transient elements are less rise time is going to be more when transient elements are more rise time is very quickly that means output is coming very quickly rise time is very less but settling time is more so this is the controversy when zeta value if you selected in between 0.4 to 0.7 we can get moderate rise time as well as moderate settling time so that so that the system is going to be perfect in design any person can purchase that kind of system in practical world of the control system this is the most important thing i have explained only with respect to this point but before that after that what will happen in control system we will study in case of sai medha koti okay dear students telangana and andhra students lara meer ikkadiki vachi join avandi deen mundu deen tarvata control system ela untundo meeku telustundi automatically ee points anni meeku chaala easy ga artham avutayi dhanyavadamulu thank you